Hi there, welcome back to the channel, and today I'll be talking about a little B-movie, a screen gem in my collection. I mentioned this during my Rebel Moon rant. Um, Battle Beyond the Stars, which I think is a better version of Rebel Moon. This was released in 1980. It's from Roger Corman, who was known as the King of Cult. This is a... his He wanted an intergalactic seven, seven samurai, which is basically Star Wars, so this was his low-budget take on Star Wars. Um, a slew of people on this film. You got Richard Thomas as Shad. Richard Thomas was known um, for the movie It, the original movie, and a TV show called The Waltons, where he kind of played like Luke Skywalker. He was a farm boy, and he's a farm boy on this plant, on this this in this movie. So great casting on that one. Robert Vaughn as Gelt. He's kind of like an assassin. He was best known for the Man from Uncle TV series. Then you have George Pappard as Space Cowboy. He has a lot of one-liners in here. Great comic relief on here. He would be... The last thing he was really well known for was the A-Team. And then you have Sybil Danning, who was basically the B-movie vixen. So she was, you know, uh, scantily dressed. And all the little boys in the theater who saw this, you know, enjoyed the view for... You know, not politically correct, but that was 1980. That was the time. So basically, you have this uh, farm planet called Akir, um, which is getting um, threatened by a warlord called Sador. And they basically have um, seven days to comply and, you know, hand themselves over to him, or he's going to use his stellar converter and destroy them, basically. So Shad goes on and finds all these, these seven guys, these warriors that fight for them, which sounds like Rebel Moon, right? Um, you've got James Horner who does the music. He would go on to do Aliens, um, Braveheart. He's, you know, won awards up the wazoo. He is, you know, a legend in the business. Another, a woman who was working with, uh, with Corman, Gail Ann Horde, got her boyfriend in to do the special effects. That boyfriend would be known as, or her boyfriend and future husband, would be known as James Cameron. He developed all the ships and all the special effects. Um, they were up for numerous awards. I think it's best special effects, best makeup. Um, it's just a blast. These 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 actors knew what they were doing. They knew it's a ripoff of Star Wars. They went in there knowing full well that it's going to be cheesy. They played along with it. But it has a lot of heart and it's made with people who were dedicated to make the best kind of movie with the limited resources that they had. So it's just a lot of fun. You have to see this once. If you can get through Rebel Moon, remember this was made in 1980, so the effects now are, you know, subpar. But remember th over 30 years ago, this was impressive for $2 million dollars. You can't even make a music video now for $2 million, right? So they made a film. So think of it that way. They made a film for the price of a of a video, of a music video. It's a lot of fun. It's cheesy. It's corny. You're going to roll your eyes sometimes, but it's a blast to watch. You have to watch it once in your lifetime. If you can get through Rebel Moon, you can get through this. So I highly recommend that you look for this somewhere. Try to stream it, watch it. I picked it up. I had no choice. I fond memories of my childhood with this one, okay? So if you liked Rebel Moon or thought it was decent and wonder where they borrowed stuff from, when they go pick up the other guys, it was from here, okay? So look at this first and let me know. Then watch Rebel Moon again and notice the correlation. You let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you ever seen this movie? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of this. And hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. This is Steven with my um, recommendation of Battle Beyond the Stars. Ciao.